Our next presenter is Yashwant S. of Great Eastern Medical School and Hospital, Srikakulam. Good morning everybody, respected judges and my dear colleagues. I am Yashwan Sonati from Great Eastern Medical School, Srikakulam. I am here to present my study on awareness, perceptions and concerns regarding research among students attending a undergraduate research conference. First of all, there are a lot of types of medicine, like there are there are a lot of types of medicine, like types of medical practice. There are Ayurveda, there are Reiki, there are homeopathy. But the one which is popularly followed and most scientific is evidence-based medicine. Why it is scientific? Because it is based on research. A continuous research forms the backbone of evidence-based medicine. But unfortunately, research has low priority in developed country, developing countries. This is the UNESCO uh, statistics which say that in India, uh, there were just 160, 160 researchers per million inhabitants. Whereas in developed countries like US and UK, there are like 4,000. Even developing countries like South Africa showed a 400 per million inhabitants. So the situation is very worse in India. So now, what to do? The birth of an idea. You have a lot of undergraduate students. Why don't you nurture them? Will that be effective? Well, the evidence is yes. These are the evidences. There was a publication in Medical Education by Reinders which said that Research experience as a medical student is strongly associated with postgraduate research involvement. And in 2005, there was a publication in PLOS Medicine which said that long term strategy to improve medical education, long term strategy to promote healthcare research is to target medical students early in their careers. The similar recommendations were given by Association for the Study of Medical Education UK. And even uh, Dr. Dev's article on Indian, Indian Journal of Medical Research said that research training could be made an integral part of MBBS curricula for the indigenous generation of new knowledge. So now you know that medical students are the key, but are they aware of research? What facilities do they have? What are their concerns? I have done a literature search through PubMed. I found just three to four articles and studies done in closed settings, like single institution settings. So I thought, why don't I fill the void with a small patch? So I started a study where I included participants in a research conference, Medicon 2014. The design was a cross-sectional study. I used a pre-tested structured questionnaire. The study was cleared by Institutional Ethical Committee. Prior permission was obtained by organizing chair. Informed consent taken from all the participants. 100 students were included in the study. Uh, 71 were female, 29 were male. There were from 15 medical colleges, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Of them, 20, 71 for private medical college and 29 were from government medical college. Mean age was 20, point, 20 plus 1.32. Of them, 40 percent showed the, uh, said that they were aware of research hypothesis. Writing a project protocol was known to 28 percent and 29 percent knew about literature search. Strangely, 41 percent knew that uh, what statistics are to be done in the publications. And uh, when asked about pharmacovigilance unit, 22% reported that they have a pharmacovigilance unit. Uh, presence of ethics committee was reported by 47%, whereas medical educational unit's existence was reported by 33%. Source of literature, most of them used Google as a source of literature. Well, 38% of the students knew about PubMed. Cochrane was used as by 11%, and Google Scholar was known to 19% students. 62% of uh, participants said that they know about Informer, which was promoting the research activities, and 36% knew about IMSA, which also promotes research activities. ICMR STS was known to 77% of participants. 94% felt that research is beneficial to their career, while 81% were ready to do the research if minimum facilities were provided. 80% of the students felt that patient overcome outcome improves with research. When asked, would you take up research as your career? 42% of students said that they were ready. 38% students said they were not sure. Barriers to research, knowledge and uh, training, lack of knowledge and training was said as a uh, main barrier. 77% of students said lack of knowledge to be the main barrier, whereas lack of academic excellence was the least 
perceived barrier, 11% of students reported it. When asked about what should be the prime focus of research, the three, the three were diabetes mellitus, hypertension and mental health. When they were asked what are the steps do you propose to promote research, the curricular changes, a research training and providing credits and support for the discussion, 42% of the students opted a research career. This was comparable with Canadian study where 45% of students opted and a Pakistani study where 47% and an Indian study where 48% of students opted. 80% of students felt research outcome improves with research. Uh, little higher reports were done as a Saudi study. Google was the preferred source of medical literature and uh, similar reports were done in another Indian study. So conclusions are, although most of the medical students are not ready to take up research as a career, they feel research is beneficial to their career and would like to take research as a associated part. Like, And uh, an incentive driven approach and probably a USMLE model of education where research and extracurricular activities are valued as an assessment would probably promote the research in India. There is need for large scale studies to better address the issue. The take home, the take -home message is that if proper guidance and training was given to the students, they will surely become one day like Charles Best and Paul Langerhans. Charles Best made significant contributions to the discovery of insulin when he was just a medical student and Paul Langerhans uh, made significant contributions to discovery of islets of Langerhans when he was just a medical student. These were my references. Thank you. Ashwanta, yes, you are Ashwant. Well done, Ashwant. Thank you. It's very good idea to have a, a question like this. What is the knowledge regarding research among students? I would like to know what is the in which semester they are. Have you collected information yes, on? Most of the students were from sixth semester, and there were uh, like twenty-five students from sixth semester and thirty-five students from fifth semester. So mostly second-year students were there. Most of them are second-year second students. students. No, you are not collected from first year or. Uh, no, they were the students from second year, uh, first year and fourth year, but they were. Uh, Compatibly less. Okay. How many of them uh, have gone through the curriculum related with MCI for MBBS students? Have you inquired about that? No, ma'am, I haven't inquired. That. Does that curriculum is having uh, anything related with research in their curriculum? Yeah, there is a uh, like uh, research to be trained uh, in. Are you aware of that? Yes, ma'am. In SPM, the research has to be taught. Uh, it's not only in SPM. In every subject, you need to have an inclination towards a research question. Okay. It is there in MCI curriculum and maybe in I mean, upcoming MCI I mean, uh, Vision document improvements related with the standardization of all these things, yes, there is a chance for research activity. I don't know how many of you agree with that and how many of you attended all these uh, seminars or research questions in community medicine, epidemiological investigations. Hmm. But it is a good idea to get that information from the students. Thank yeah, you. Very well done. Good presentation. Thank you. It's a good, very, very good presentation and I think we have to start at some time like, uh, like uh, having the basic knowledge and how they are improving and then uh, how they are uh, getting into the, this thing in the future. So this is a continuous process so I think it has to be, it, it should be included at, uh, it, at least now. And the basic requirement as you said that is very, very important. The basic requirements have to be provided. Definitely the students will come forward. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? See, you have taken it from a conference, right? Yes. So the only thing I have pointed out is uh, in conferences we have uh, this research aptitude uh, panel discussions. Yeah, the, that so was the limitation. Uh, most of you should have uh, identified how many of them have actually attended them and how many not. I have well, actually given the questionnaire to the conference organizers. They have distributed themselves and finally they have collected them from me. So, yes, that's what uh, some of the conferences, uh, just like we have guest lectures have a one hour session on research aptitude, aptitude where they tell about the, this hypothesis, how to write the project and all. So you should, that's an important factor basically. If the person has attended such a session, he would know it. Otherwise, uh, he would only know about this hypothesis, he would not be knowing about the statistics and all the rules. So you should have considered that. 